the Trump Foundation is facing new scrutiny. The New York New York's Attorney General is investigating the organization. The president elect agreed to settle a series of lawsuits targeting Trump University. He'll pay $25 million. The president informed Comey that he's been terminated and removed from office. Special counsel Robert Mueller is investigating President Trump for possible obstruction of justice. Three women who have previously accused President Trump of sexual harassment spoke out again today in New York. They demanded a congressional investigation into the president, who has been accused of sexual misconduct by more than a dozen women. A new guilty plea entered by Michael Cohen. That guilty plea identifies Donald Trump as individual one. The Wall Street Journal story about the Trump inauguration committee uh, and its spending being under criminal investigation by the feds right now. There is another investigation into President Trump and his associates that appears to not be going away anytime soon. Federal prosecutors in the Southern District of New York are investigating several aspects of Mr. Trump's business and political operations. You know, this isn't hyperbole. I really believe that Donald Trump is going to go to jail. The powerful House Ways and Means Committee chairman issuing subpoenas for six years of the president's personal and business tax returns. Could you charge the president with a crime after he left office? Yes. A federal judge is ordering President Trump to pay $2 million to a series of nonprofit organizations, part of a settlement in a lawsuit that alleges the president misused his own charitable foundation. House managers formally read the charges against Mr. Trump, who becomes just the third president in American history to face a Senate trial. The other news this Friday night at the White House, the Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman fired and escorted out of the White House. Why did Deutsche Bank loan Mr. Trump $2 billion at the same time, other banks, including all U.S. lenders, were not willing to do so. Doris is one of 26 women who have accused Trump of sexual misconduct, ranging from groping to kissing to rape. We begin tonight with the history made in Washington as the impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump gets underway. Fulton County's district attorney opening a criminal investigation into former President Trump's efforts to overturn our state's election results. Could you tell in sitting with Cy Vance's office, now that you've done for five times, do you get the sense that they are ready to prosecute this man, Donald Trump? I suspect the indictment will probably be uh, sooner than later. There's more trouble on the horizon for the Trump Organization and potentially former President Donald Trump. His company is now under criminal investigation by the New York State Attorney General. I think Donald Trump is going to flip on all of them. What do you think about that, including his children? Huh. I think, I really believe that Donald Trump is going to turn around. You always get shocked when I say things, Joy. <laughs> I really believe that Donald Trump cares for only himself, and he realizes that his goose is cooked. Is this going to be the one, you, I know you've said that you expect, like, in the next 30 to 60 days, that um, something will happen, that Trump will be charged with something. He's in trouble. Alan Weisselberg's in trouble. Weisselberg's kids, Matt Calamari, um, you know, all, Rudy Giuliani, they're all in trouble. The expression flip implies guilt. I mean, why would Trump right. say, oh, he won't flip? I mean, of course, a flip, that means he's got something. Uh, yeah. but he deserves to go to jail for a long time. The House of Representatives voted today to form a special committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Seven U.S. Capitol Police officers are now suing Donald Trump and Trump Associates. Donald Trump could be facing more legal trouble. Multiple reports tonight say the Westchester DA opened a criminal investigation into his financial dealings at Trump National Golf Course in Briarcliff. Prosecutors in New York are reportedly looking into whether the Trump Organization broke the law by purposefully giving tax officials low property values for some of its buildings. Should we expect to see actual indictments before the new year? They are going after Donald. They're going after Don Jr., Eric, Ivanka. They're a whole slew of individuals, um, family, you know, family as well. Right. The top financial regulators on Wall Street are investigating Donald Trump's new social media venture. The National Archives has asked the Department of Justice to investigate former President Donald Trump's handling of White House records. Two prosecutors in charge of the Manhattan District Attorney's investigation into former President Donald Trump have suddenly resigned. CBS 2 political reporter Marsha Kramer live in our newsroom now with the latest. Marsha. Sources say the prosecutors called it quits over differences with the new district attorney, Alvin Bragg. Where are thousands of dollars worth of gifts given to former President Trump from foreign officials? 
House Democrats are trying to find out. No person is above the law in this country. Nothing stops us. No, per I don't know how to maybe I'll say that again. No person is above the law in this country. I can't say it any more clearly than that. Follow Don Winslow. We do not accept donations, but would appreciate your retweet.